Okay, today I'm going to show you how to work out the top speed of your go-kart, mini bike, etc. Uh, using a few simple things and doing a simple equation. And yeah, you work out your top speed. So, for this uh, equation, you're going to need a calculator. You could use a computer calculator if you want, but, you know, it's better to be hands-on. Um, going to need a piece of paper or notepad, either one. Uh, you're going to need your tyre diameter, your engine RPMs, and your gear ratio. So once you get all them, <clears throat> all those, we can start. So, to begin, you need to work out your tyre circumference. Now, to get your tyre circumference, circumference, you times your diameter by pi. Um, on your calculator, you have pi. And uh, yeah, just times your tire circumference. So if it's 30, you times it by pi. Uh, the pi symbol, if you don't already know, is sort of, I don't have a pen anywhere. No, I do not. Uh, I can't show you the pi symbol, but basically it's like a squiggly line, squiggly line, and another one across. Anyway, once you do that, you get your circumference, which for me is this. Now write all the numbers out because, well, do up to about eight. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've done to nine, okay? So once you get your tire circumference, um, you're going to need your engine RPM. Now on a normal engine, like a Honda 6.5, 5, Briggs 5, anything like that, the standard uh, governed RPM is 3,600. Now, this may change depending, you know, if you have a Robin engine, I know my uh, seven or eight horsepower Robin is like 4,000 RPM. If you have a dirt bike engine, you know, they can go to about 12. Uh, it just depends. So find out the RPM of your engine. If it's just a kit go-kart, it's usually 3,600. Okay, next, you're going to find out your gear ratio of your engine, or of your your final gear ratio. Now to find that out, you get your sprocket, your sprocket on your axle, and divide it by the sprocket on your clutch. Now, for me, I have a 60 tooth sprocket on the axle, and a 12 tooth, on the clutch so that gives me a gear ratio of five which means every time my wheel does one revolution my engine turns five times you can't have the other way around otherwise that means your engine turns once when your wheel turns five times the engine just won't go unless you have a really really powerful engine but that's just a waste um so once you've got that gear ratio get your engine rpm which in my case is 3600 and divide it by your gear ratio, which is 5 for me. That will give you the answer. Well, for me, it is 720. And that's how many revolutions per minute your tyre does. Now, you need to convert that to revolutions per second because we're going to be working in a metres per second. Um, that just makes it a whole lot easier. So, divide it by 60, and in my case, it turns out to be 12 revolutions per second. So every second, when you're going top speed in your go-kart, every second the cart tire turns 12 times. Okay? Now, get that RPM, RPS, revolutions per second, and times it by your circumference, which is in meters. Uh, I don't know if I said that, but what you should do when you get your circumference, which usually is probably in centimeters, convert it to meters. If you don't know how to do that, just move your decimal point. Okay? Um, now, uh, once you get that, like I said, times your revolutions per second by meters, and that will give you an answer in meters per second. Now, if you're just wondering what this little negative one means, it just means meters per second. If you're doing physics, Meters per second, negative two means meters per second per second, which means it's accelerating. It accelerates 
seven meters per second every second. That's what negative two means, but we won't get into that. This isn't a physics lesson today. It is just a simple equation to work at a top speed. So once we get that uh, value, we have to convert it to kilometers per hour. Now to get kilometers per hour, you divide meters per second, your value, by 3.6. So, from in my case, it is 11.3097335 divided, whoops, sorry, hopefully it still works, times by 3.6. Yep, still worked. Okay, so that is meters per second and kilometers per hour. So it does 40.715. So we just write that down. 715. You can write down all the other numbers, but you know, we don't really calculate it to 40.715 kilometers in the real world. So we round up anything five and above you round up. So it turns out to be 41 kilometers per hour. And that is your total. So that is how you get the top speed of your go-kart. I'll just go over that one more time. Get your circumference of your tire in meters. Get your revolutions per RPM uh, of your engine. Divide that by your gear ratio, and that will give you the revolutions per minute of your tire. Divide that by 60 to get your revolutions per second. Then times that by the circumference in meters of your tire. That'll give you a value of how fast your go-kart goes meters per second. In my case, 11.3097.3354 meters every second. Times that by 3.6 and you get how many, how fast it goes in kilometers per hour. And then just round up or down to get rid of all these numbers hanging off the end. So yeah, I hope that just made it a little bit easier. And now I hope you can work out your top speed of your go-kart. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you later.